I am back at the Hawes Trail system. It's time to go mark off a couple of really good trails off my list. Well, I hope they're really good trails. I haven't ridden them yet. Doing my self-guided route here and I almost missed my turn. I got carried away and I happened to look over and I saw a trail sign. Okay, I gotta check already because I just saw a trail going that way and there's signs up there. Okay, 100% going the right way, no doubt about it. <laughs> it is a perfect winter day out here. I think it'll be 72 degrees, but can't really feel it with the wind blowing. I'm sure I'll still get the sunburn though. It's gonna be a crazy busy Saturday on the trails, but that kind of works in my favor because I'm riding solo on two of the fan favorite double black diamond trails out here. So if something happens, someone will come along after me, hopefully. The plan is to take on Boulder Dash and Sunset Ridge. But the funny thing is I could not find a single route on Trail Forks where anyone had ridden both of those trails in the same ride. So I whipped up my own little route based on the map. And we all know the map is not the terrain, so <laughs> there's probably a reason that only 20% of people climb up Upper Hawes. Is that what it's going to be? Yeah, well, I'll tell you when I get there. This is Lower Hawes for now. It looks like most people just go through the residential neighborhood road and then climb up. But if I'm going to do both these trails, I have to <laughs> climb up the Black Diamond Trail. So. Might as well do it twice. Might be cursing myself though. I'm not even sure how many <laughs> feet of elevation the climb is or how many miles it is. <laughs> Whoops. If you fail to plan, you should plan to fail. But if you hope <laughs> for something, maybe that'll work too. I hope it's a good ride. The current routine when it comes to hydration is almost always take two water bottles full of element but i also drink a full bottle of element before i even start the ride just to get a little pre-soak it's working pretty good four hour ride yesterday on the arizona trail and did three bottles that was good got the headset creaking from yesterday's ride of course <laughs> little tiny wet sandy particles penetrating, causing my madness. Yeah, if this is like the easier way up, then that top section is gonna be silly. But of course the easy way up is actually on the other side where I did my first ride a few days ago. But I didn't wanna do all the same stuff. <laughs> I wanted a fresh coat of paint. Okay, I made it through the cruisy easy part. Now it's uh, time to feel the pain. Hopefully there's a lot of pleasure on the other side of it. Hurting for certain. And I'm walking. <laughs> well, I had a feeling this is what it was gonna be, so <laughs> can't blame anyone but myself. The good thing is you make a lot of progress <laughs> hiking a bike like that, going up something steep. Okay, this has not been too bad after a couple of those little hike-a-bike sections. Slow and steady. Okay, I'm here. Still got a while to go to get to the connect. Oh, the element is going quick. <laughs> Not even that hot, not even that steep. <laughs> I'm not even in that good of shape, that's why. Element is the fine sponsor of today's video and it's the only thing I've put in my water bottle over the past Hurts, year. My current routine, which has worked pretty dang good, is to drink a full bottle of Element before I even start <sighs> riding. Then I take a couple bottles on the ride, maybe three if it's really warm. 
And then once I finish, if I'm still feeling pretty wrung out, I'll have another bottle. For me personally, post-ride hydration was always a big problem. I would do these big rides, love them, enjoy them, feel pretty good, and then eventually on the drive home, I would get a splitting headache and not know what it was. Now I am convinced I was dehydrated. But now with Element in my routine, I am so much more mindful of my hydration. I make sure I get my electrolytes and I don't get the headaches, the cramps, and the general tiredness that come with being dehydrated. The Element Thesis is out with sugar and in with salt. They've done the studies. They believe that people, especially active people who go out and sweat a lot, need more salt in their diet, not less, to perform their best. I have tried so many electrolyte drinks over the years and finally it is amazing to find Element. It tastes amazing. It keeps me fired up, but it doesn't make me jittery. It doesn't mess with my stomach. It doesn't have a half a pound of sugar. It is fantastic. The Element Mission is a good one. They want to restore health through hydration. If you try it, I really think you're going to like it. But if you don't, Element does have a zero questions asked return policy. Just hit them up on the site. You're taking no risk with your first taste. Right now, Element is offering a free sample pack that has eight individual flavors when you place any order on the website, as long as you place that order through my link on drinklmnt.com slash bkxc. It's definitely the best way to try out all the different flavors. And right now, citrus salt is the king of the mountain. I could have that all day, every day, especially with a couple of cool ice cubes. This deal's only available through my link, so head on over to drinkelement.com slash BKXC today. I am gonna have to push myself to do this twice. <laughs> uh, I will pay the price today. Uh. This is a four Oreo climb, and I got to do it again. I only brought eight Oreos. It is a mighty fine cactus garden. Whew, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to get a lot of those kind of views today. Okay, a little bit of this one, and then on the lookout to the right for Boulder Dash. Oh, feels good to go down. <laughs> it's been three seconds of downhill and I love it. The trail signs have been pretty good so far, so I'm expecting a, a clear spot where it's a turn off. <laughs> okay, it's just a trail sign to distract me <laughs> through the gnarly section. Keep people off of that side, I guess. Oh, I almost stalled out. Okay, I think this is Boulder Dash. Yep, and I'm, you know, hoping to on-site all of this, but <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a little easier said than done. <laughs> Left side, right side, it rolls kinda. And then there's a left side there, okay. Like this, ugly. Whoo! Yeah. Got the jitters now. <laughs> oh, there was another line over there too. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I've got a plan. I've got a, a piece of green grass that I'm going to try to go to. 
Everybody's got a plan. Oh, man. Oh, it was more of a roll. It just looked like I wasn't going to have enough speed to actually do this if it was actually a drop. Nice. <laughs> Should be able to shift the SRAM transmission under load like that, but it still pops on me. Ooh. Ooh. Derailleur touch. Oh man, that looked like it was a rollover right there. Lots of hidden gems, huh? Mr. Big Huck. Oh. Everything just looks like a, a cliff edge till you roll up to it. Okay, recovery. Cool. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> weird, but good. Riding blind. Yeah. Oh, hard hit on the tires. I'm in the easy gear. Too easy. Yeah, then you go left. Whew. That was cool. At least I spotted it. Oh wow, jump onto the rock, then jump off, that's awesome. <laughs> Trying to see if there was another like weird rock slab or anything. No, I think that was the one. <laughs> Oh, cool. Max heart rate on the way up and the way down. Oh, this is a hard left here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a little stupid. Oh. You feel your momentum. Get, get bad. All right, we'll uh, <laughs> reset here. Okay, I have to get clipped in and get some momentum here over the top. There we go. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's a win, especially going so slow. Almost couldn't stop. Always got to have the right balance of survival and fun. Oh, it's off to the left too. There we go. Ah, that was a drop, <laughs> I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Goes by too fast. Dragon spine, wow. Yeah, you gotta let go. Whew. I'm holding on. <laughs> Not letting go. Okay. Oh, definitely a line on the right too. This thing is just filled with surprises. Oh, okay, I'm having a hard time believing. So, it's possible I can get on the second stage here. Oh, I lost my belief. <laughs> this is really something here. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to come up over this, then down there. Wow. Good on them. A 
with like a giant hip jump on the left side there. <laughs> okay, some kind of crux. Taking a beating today. I got this, I got this. Oh yeah, no problem. Straight line right here. Oh man. Oh, especially with all the loose marbles. You brake check, you're gonna slide out of position. What the heck? It doesn't look so simple from this angle. Usually looks easier looking downhill. The confidence is getting beat up today. <laughs> this is all about how slow I can go down it. I don't know, we'll see. I might have to just take the little chicken line on the left. Yeah, you got a full commit. I'm just not ready. I'm just not there, man. Wow, really good though. I, it seems completely doable and nice and uh, double black diamond tough. <laughs> yeah, that was great. That was a real deal, tough trail. Half in my comfort zone, half just beyond it. Hats off to the Hawes Trail Alliance, building trails out here, making the magic happen. To have a trail like that in your backyard would be pretty amazing. You'd get good real quick. Or you get broke real quick, but <laughs> and then you heal up and come back and get good. Oh man, I was gonna look at my phone and see how long it took to do that first climb. If it was an hour, if it was 15 minutes, <laughs> who knows? Okay, I've got two miles, 800 feet of climbing ahead of me. How long could it possibly take? <laughs> Start the clock. One pedal at a time. I still got plenty of water. I got snacks, I got daylight, just go at it, nice and steady. I have to admit, I did get a hotel for this trip. <laughs> I wanted to have the internet to upload videos. The van is pretty dang comfortable to sleep in, actually, in most uh, weather. Just always need a little fan if it's very, very hot, but really it's the, the sponge bath after the ride that's tough. But campgrounds do have showers and stuff. I just uh, I just wanted to plan it and have it be done and have good internet because campgrounds are always weird where you show up and it's full or they don't take reservations. They don't have a website. I guess I could always pick up the phone and call, but who does that? Oh man, it's so funny. I don't know if it's a me thing or my generation on, but I just hate talking on the phone. I hate calling people. I hate answering calls. I hate having to like psych myself up and like rehearse what I'm gonna say. It's just such a weird thing. I remember my buddy Josh was never afraid to pick up the phone and call somebody. And it's like, ah, oh, you can actually get things done by doing that. I'm pretty good with the anxiety and everything that is crippling everyone else my age and under, but the phone, it does get me. Everybody's got something. Well, the stopwatch got stuck at five minutes, so <laughs> I'm not really gonna know how long it took until I edit the video. Just a fun game of speculation. Doesn't really matter. Man, bunch of people now. There's a person climbing ahead of me and then another person that passed me that's going up and another person coming down. Man, I can't believe in 2024, still running into people that don't know where they're going, where they've been, kind of have an idea. <laughs> you can get many different apps on your phone to take care of that problem. Could be the difference between life and death. Even in a park like this where you're two seconds from civilization. Trail Forks, On X, MTB Project, Gaia GPS. I am feeling better this time around. Just took it down a couple notches and that's enough to <laughs> survive. I was going, didn't think I was going hard, but I was going hard. Possible I wouldn't be pushing so much if I was on the Ritmo. It's also possible I wouldn't be pushing so much if I had actually ridden my bike in the past three months. <laughs> 
all things are possible if you can put up with pain. Suffering is the only sure thing. That's always why mountain biking is the best thing in the world. You suffer and there's usually always a payout. Way better of a pain to pleasure ratio than fishing or <laughs> even working out. Working out's nice. I do it, I enjoy it from time to time, but the payoff of a sufferfest climb into a amazing flowy descent is just and nothing like it. Like surfing, it, you go out, the waves might not be good. Mountain biking, the dirt might not be good, but it uh, takes a lot to ruin a ride. So if you do this, start on the other side. There's much easier climbing trails to get to the top here. Okay, a little bit of Red Mountain Rush. Then we'll be at the next section. Yeah, I'm not tired at all. I'm good. <laughs> Nothing four Oreos can't fix. All right, here we go. I'm sure it'll be herky-jerky and I'll miss a few things and I'll hesitate. Yep, missed that one. Into the rutilation. Wow, cool. I've seen people do <laughs> this line right here. Oh, oh man. Oh, that seems totally rideable. Oh. oh, the thing is, I know it drives a lot of people who watch my channel crazy, but I could care less. <laughs> like, it's awesome if I get it, but it just doesn't do anything for my ego. Like, oh, I wish I really, I'm really mad at myself. Like, I can let it go so easily. Or I think so many people that watch the channel could never like show themselves failing. That's all I do. <laughs> There's a whole lot of failure going on. Okay, this is still gonna be plenty nasty. Oh, wow. Oh, that felt so good. Creeped it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops! First time. <laughs> yeah, scope every section. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Killer sections here. Oh. oh. <laughs> I got a foot down. Whoa. Man, how many people slipped out on that? Ah. Okay. Real deal intimidators. <laughs> That's why I'm here, to win some and lose some. And hopefully win more than I lose. Okay, up and over and into who knows what. Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. Oh, doing them dirty. No way. Oh, dang, I had it. <laughs> but 
I didn't. <laughs> I had it so much. That is a great impossible climb. <laughs> Tippy toe. <laughs> oh, the white dot parade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sight unseen. <laughs> I was looking ahead too much. <laughs> okay. This is right up my alley. I got to try. Now that I'm fully invigorated. <laughs> oh, got that adrenaline stoke. It's gonna be tough. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that was the easy part. Okay, another tough one. Oh, I don't even see. There we go. Okay. Control. Yes. Oh, man. Woo. Oof, damn it, full rut. I stared down the rut and it stared back at me. I'm a little too worried about the slipperiness, even though it's been good. Is that on the excuse gloves here? Yeah, yes. <laughs> and easy. There we go. <laughs> Better be recording. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> no. God. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe I survived it. Oh no, there's more. Oh God. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I am enjoying it. Even if I miss a couple. Dang! No chance that shows on camera, but that was just a weird boulder field type thing. Oh. Whew. Locked it up. Okay. A little nicer on the left through the shadows. <laughs> I don't trust the things that look like a rock roll anymore. <laughs> Whoa! Bounced him. Dang, too slow. Yep, it was a rock roll. Dang! Rookie mistake. That's all. <laughs> That's all I've got. Roll the dice on every feature. Got the sign out for that one. Oh! 
okay, no big deal. It's funny, I've seen some videos, but I don't know, it's like, I guess you could study the tape enough to know that's this section, that's that section, but ah, you're just second guessing yourself. I'd rather just let myself, let my own brain do the deciding. Yeehaw, what a ripper, holy moly. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, loose. <laughs> oh, trying to skip over him. <laughs> Wheel breakers. There's got to be something. Nope. <laughs> if it was sunset, it would have been. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Just two of us. Have a good one. Time to get a bike, bro. Yeah, this has been an awesome day. Tough route, terrific trails but it seems like the route worked. I don't know if I would recommend it. I think you should use the other side, like I said, but ah, it worked. I saw other people climbing up the route. Just finished my water, so really good. I did the pre-ride gulper. I th <laughs> hear my scratchy voice now. <laughs> I think I've got less than five minutes back to the car. Famous last words. Okay. Yeah. Camouflaged. Last band standing. Woo. Ah. Oh boy, a little post ride Coke as a treat, and now a full bottle of Element to replenish and recover. I'm on the world's busiest road here. There was a lot of hype for that trail, Sunset Ridge, and I think it lived up to the hype. I got some wins, I had some losses, but I didn't get beat up. It was very, very fun, not too frustrated. I'd love to do it again and get every single bit. A little tough stuff, a little over the pay grade, but man, that's what it's all about, getting stretched just out of the comfort zone. The final stats were 14 miles, 2,600 feet of climbing. Pretty good day. Hawes really did deliver. I got what I came for, and I've got one more ride before I head home. I'm gonna head to goat camp and see what that's all about. I think it's gonna be a rugged backcountry. Can you hear me? <laughs> I am getting drowned out. I think it's gonna be a rugged backcountry experience. I think it's gonna be awesome. But until then, do me a favor, go ride something new.